Hello friends, welcome to this uh, walkthrough on generative AI service launched on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Platform. I am working into Ashburn region, uh, point to be noted, this service is not available in Ashburn region. If I go to analytics and AI, uh, under AI services you don't see generative AI. However, if I change my region to Chicago region, I will see that service is available. So I now I am working on Chicago region and I go to analytics and AI and you will see generative AI service available here. So the generative AI service, if the documentation is available now, this uh, announcement and the documentation came on 24th of January 2024. And uh, this is uh, the summary about the service. Generative AI is fully managed Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Service that provide a state of art customizable point to be noted, customizable large language models that covers a wide range of use cases for text generation. Use the playground to try out the things which we are going to try and uh, more available information available here. Learn about generative AI use cases, concept, workflow, product uses, explore the playground which we are going to do now. Fine tune the custom models, we will see how that can be done and the learning about the models. So uh, let's jump into the uh, hands on and let's see what this service is all about. So when I'm on the generative AI page and you can see three main features, the clusters, dedicate, dedicated clusters, the, you, you create clusters to host your own models with your own API endpoint to offer as a service to your customers and the users. Custom model, you use an existing model, you train the model and you come out with your own model where you can set the parameters, you can fine tune it and you can uh, configure uh, some more details about it. An endpoint is the hosting models for which you want to create the endpoint. First thing first, let's try the playground. Go to the playground and here you see that uh, to get started, choose a model and uh, a preset prompt example. In fact, I'll type my own prompt and I want uh, this to act as a stand-up comedy and I will provide some topics uh, related to current events and uh, you will use your wit, creativity and observational skills to create a, a routine based on those topics. Now here, this is a prompt. This is the topic, is, this is a, what is known as prompt engineering. So uh, then you are specifying, I want an humorous take on politics and click on generate and it will generate uh, the out model will generate the output and this is the response from the model. So uh, this is how you generate the model. Similarly, you can set the parameters here, maximum output tokens. You can see what are tokens, maximum number of tokens that you'd like the model to generate each response. And then temperature, top P, top K, stop sequence, and frequency penalty, presence penalty. These are the parameters. And uh, preset examples can also be used. For example, we have a couple of preset examples like job description and the product pitch, generate an email and a rewrite instruction with steps. So let's see uh, how do we select, the, or how do we use this template generating a product pitch as a uh, vice president of a company. Let's see, uh, I mean uh, for the marketing for a company. So generate a product pitch for a USB connected comp uh, compact microphone. So let's select this and it will generate a product pitch for that. Similarly, so this is the product pitch. So you can type your own prompt and you can get the output from the model and you can select different models. Uh, also you have the Llama 2 model. This is the Meta Llama 2 and you can select same like an email and the Meta Llama 2 will generate uh, for this. This is a mail generated. Now coming to the dedicated clusters, here you configure the cluster and uh, create dedicated cluster in your compartment. They can take a few minutes to create after a cluster is active state, you can start using for fine tuning or hosting workload. Name, description and you want to host or you want to fine tune. What is the type of cluster you want to create? And the base model, these are the four base models you can select from Cohere command, Cohere command light and Cohere embed four models you can select any of them and instance how many instances you want but here you have to make a commitment of 400, uh, 744 unit hours for this hosting dedicated AI cluster. I can use this cl cluster to host models with the same base model by creating endpoints on this cluster. This is what you can do. So once you select this it will create the cluster for you. 
I'm not going to create the cluster. I just wanted to show you the feature. Similarly, custom models. When you click and uh, create custom model, here you select a create a new version or create a new model and then select a name, for example, test version 1.0, click on next and here the same thing, what is the going to be the base model? All the four models are available here to select from and then a fine tuning method, which method you want to choose for the fine tuning of your model. Create an, uh, of course, you need a dedicated cluster for this purpose. So you can create a dedicated cluster, uh, which is not available in my case. Similarly, uh, endpoints. If you have a dedicated cluster, and if you have a, your model hosted on the dedicated cluster, you can create endpoint for that, and which you can share with your client and your users and your developers, where they can use the models at the given API endpoint. Similar to OpenAI or Azure. OpenAI or other privately hosted uh, models. So specify the name, uh, description, model name, model version, and uh, these are the models available for to host and uh, create a new dedicated AI cluster. Obviously, we need to have a cluster first, same thing. So uh, as of now, you can see uh, these are the features available. Uh, brief overview, I just wanted to give you about the generative AI service fully managed service available on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care.